speak about the whole judgment thing and, and you know, do you feel yes, like yes. you're in a space, Tony, that, you know, a lot of people are coming to you because uh, it, it is that you're not showing the judgment or people are not being feeling like they're not going to be judged when they come to see you. Of course it is. Of course it is. Of course, yeah, absolutely. And, and, I, and I'm doing that for a couple of, couple of ways in, with what I say, with what I do, but also I'm showing my own vulnerability as well. Mm. And, uh, and it's a safe space. And my... My job, my career, what I do for work is to help people. That doesn't mean that every single conversation I have, I'm, uh, I'm like a solicitor and I rack up the, uh, the timesheet. But, sure. uh, but that, that's what I do. <laughs> well, uh, you'll get the invoice later. But, but, that, 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 but that's what I do, right? So my whole life is about how do I help people. And, uh, and, I, and I am at my happiest. I'm at my most content, uh, my most fulfilled when I'm helping people. Absolutely. And so it's my job to create an environment where people feel that they can approach me and I can help them. And certainly those that, uh, you know, when I see people in Sydney or Melbourne or wherever it is, I, again, I'm always about how do I help this person? Fantastic. Um, let's get into the topics of today. We're, again, 10 minutes into the conversation and haven't really started on the topics yet, uh, which is pretty typical. Uh, we like to free flow. I was just, just going to say our, our, our viewers have got used to that, right? So let's not, uh, let, let's not try and change up the model. No, now, because I know. Used to the fact well, that who knows what direction this will go. Well, in. we like the unscripted <laughs> stuff first because it then starts to bring yes, in the gold 100%. and a little bit of structure later on. So I know you're probably a little bit... Is there a script today, is there's there? There's never a script, but um, we've got a couple of key points <laughs> that we'd like to discuss about what's going on with ourselves, yes. what's going on yes. with other people yes, sure. that we, we mix with. Uh, yeah. So the first one is yeah. like, I think you mentioned about the highs and lows that you've had during the week. Yeah. Um, I've spoken to a lot of yeah. people about their roller coaster rides day in, day out. You know, things seem to change. So they have really good day and then the mm. next day it doesn't go so well and, you know, something springs mm. on them. What would you say, okay, maybe you can talk through some of your things, the vulnerability of what you're going on, what's going on with you, Tony. Sure. And then um, let's sure. talk about other people and how that can help. Okay. So, so the, the highs, and I'll be very brief. This is a, this is a plug-free session today. So the highs <laughs> is that I've had the most wonderful, uh, wonderful uh, three days in Sydney at a national franchise conference, um, educating, inspiring, helping uh, those guys move forward, 75 uh, you know, men and women who own their own small business. And that was a, just a, such a privilege for me. That's the absolute high uh, of my week. Uh, the absolute lows of my week is those that uh, know I also wear a hat as a property developer. Uh, and I've got all sorts of things uh, that, are, that are happening in that. I've, I've got some financial challenges going on. Uh, we're doing stage two at my development um, in Caboolture. Uh, there's, uh, we've, we've, they've gone and hit a, hit a water pipe. Again. Uh, photos uh, on Friday. After, uh, no, no, different different property. Water <laughs> pipe and there is water everywhere. And so, 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 you know, so that adds, that adds time. And also, and how, did, cost, how did you deal that with that when you're in mess. Sydney in, a, in another location, Tony? Like, yeah. that, that's probably a struggle within itself, um, not being on the ground well, there well, at well, the time. Uh, well, well, it's, well, it's two things. One is so I've got a joint venture partner. That's the first thing. But the second is that uh, I was in Sydney to do something else. It's not the people that I'm speaking to's um, responsibility or worry if I've got something totally non-related an hour north of Brisbane that's gone wrong. And so... Uh, and I was thinking about this today, right, uh, in preparation for this morning, is that I've got a background in customer service. So we used to work for McDonald's for four and a half years as a little, a little uh, you know, a trainee manager and then a manager uh, in the McDonald's system. I actually met my wife in the McDonald's system many, many years ago. But my point to that is that you're, you're taught there to treat every customer interaction uniquely, uh, you know, because if someone has a bad experience or you have a bad experience, you come and have a bad day, well, that can affect all sorts of stuff. But you know Absolutely. what? Your problems aren't the problems of the person who's coming there to buy you know, some burgers or fries off you. And I suppose I've just taken that through my whole life. Uh, that's why my boy, uh, he works at, at Hungry Jack's because I want him to get the, that, that sort of an upbringing. My girl, she, she's 14, but she'll go to, to Macca's. Um, you know, so I want them to experience this whole thing around customer service. So my you point want is them or they want to? I found that out. I, uh, well, they want the money. Uh, I want th they want the money, but I want them to go to. I actually wanted my son to go to McDonald's. My son's um, uh, quite unique, and so if I say do something black, he'll say he'll do it white. Uh, but that's okay. Uh, he, he is who he is. But I want my daughter to go to Macca's because I know that the positive experience that I have, and, and forget about all the food and all the other issues that goes on with that. Um, one of the things is their training, training. is exceptional. Yeah. 
That training is exceptional, and I want her to, uh, you know, even if she's only there for a year, I just want her to experience it, to, fl- to get the taste of it, uh, and then, uh, you know, she's got that foundation then for the rest of her life, whatever she chooses to do. And look, and you know, Hungry Jacks isn't the same as Macca's, but they've still got solid training uh, as well. But my point is, I compartmentalise stuff. That is, uh, I was on stage speaking to 75 people who've come from all around the country. It's not their fault that my, uh, you know, water pipe has gone and burst in Brisbane. I have to deliver to these people. I have to concentrate on what I'm doing there for those people. And then when I had a break, I make some phone calls, get an update. End of the day, I make some phone calls, get an update. So I'm able to compartmentalise uh, my day out, whereas a lot of people, that would really affect them. That would really affect them. And you've got to be able to switch off one. And, and, and it's not, uh, it doesn't come easily, right? It takes years and years and years of practice. But you have to switch off one, deliver, deliver for the people who have given up their time, um, value people's time. Right, I value the people who are listening here today. The fact Absolutely. that someone got up on a Sunday morning and turned us on, value the time, give value, then once that's finished, then switch, o- switch over to, now I've got to solve this problem. The other thing I'll say is, focus on a solution, not on the problem. So if you keep focusing on the fact that, oh, the pipes burst, there's water everywhere, there's water everywhere, what is a, a problem that's that starts that big, then becomes that big. But if you go, okay, well, that's happened, it's not good, but what have I got to do to move forward? How, what do we need to do to solve this problem? But a lot of people get stuck because they focus on the problem and where your focus goes, your energy, your energy flows. flows. Absolutely. Tony uh, Gallagher also had a first job at Macca's. I know plenty of people that have gone that pathway. Kat, good to see you. Lisa, Adam, uh, Elaine has also joined us. Thanks for everyone for coming on. Tony, I wanted to get into, you know, what you ex- not only what you experienced through the week, but how did you feel? And that's the big part, you know, where people, you know, sit on those ideas, sit on those thoughts, start to dwell. How is it for you and how can we help other people with these feelings? Well, yeah, I touched on it earlier. Um, So in regards to the the, the property stuff that's challenging me, um, I don't feel good about it. I'll be honest with you. I don't feel good about the fact that I'm having, uh, you know, financial challenges with one of my projects. I don't feel good about the fact that I've got pipes burst and all those sorts of things. I mean, it's a whole lot of BS if I came on here and said, but I do, I feel like absolute crap. But then what I also do is I know that if I keep focusing on the way that I'm feeling, then I'm not going to be able to move forward. I'll, I'll give you the example of with exercise, right? Um, people don't always feel like exercise. Mm. I mean, I've said on here before, you're probably only going to feel like doing it about 20, 25% of the time. If that, you have to think greater than you feel. So I say to myself, well, sitting here dwelling on this moment that's happened is not going to solve the problem. Mm. I need to solve the problem. And then once I've solved the problem, I will review the situation, see what I can take from that situation. How do we get into this situation in the first place? A lot of people will straight away do this. They'll start to, you can't really see that, I'm juggling my That's coffee. Right. But they'll point fingers. They'll point fingers and they'll blame. They'll say, I, I, I couldn't care less right about now because what I need to do is I need to solve the problem. Make decisions. I need to get it sorted and get it sorted quickly. Make decisions. Yeah, yeah, and, and make decisions, and then once I've got things back on track, then I can do a little bit of a post-mortem and go, right, okay, so how do we get there? Because I don't want this to happen again. Good reflection. I want to learn from this. To comp- yeah. um, Tony, what about for other people that are out there? I, I know you're talking about yourself. Is, is it something different for other people? And I, I guess it depends on their mental strength, their mental ca- uh, capability of where they're at right now. You know, you're someone who does this each and every day you talk about it a lot you can probably deal with it better than most people but what about what about someone who's really kind of struggling like you know they have this huge roller coaster ride each and every day yep so so if you've got a huge roller coaster ride every single day my biggest advice to you is start small just start small work out work out what is it that you want to do so I talk about the why, I talk about the what. Work out what direction. Now, that direction, it could be the direction. It doesn't have to be a five-year goal. It could be, you know what, I've got a one-week goal. Between now uh, and next Sunday, there might be two things that I want to do or one thing that you want to do. <clears throat> start small, but just do something. Then when you start, so it's about starting, then when you accomplish that something, reward yourself. Reward yourself is proportionate to the activity. So that is, you don't go off on a holiday to Fiji. It's a reward yourself being, I'm going to go to my favorite coffee shop and I'm going to have a latte and I'm going to sit back and enjoy it and be reflecting on the fact that I'm having this because I did that. Where most people go wrong is they take the reward first 
and then by the time they get to the activity, they don't have anything left. So, for example, they might sit there and watch their favourite, uh, you know, Netflix TV series for four hours, and then it's time to get up and do some some work, and they go, oh, I'm exhausted. Reverse it and create an attitude of and a framework of positive reinforcement. So start with one thing, do that one thing, reward yourself. It might just be a walk along the beach. Mm. It might just be a walk with your dog in the park. But as you're doing that, reflect on the fact that I'm having this reward because I did that. And then when you do it once, then do another one and do another one. And that's what I had to do. I didn't first start off, go from zero to 100. I started off by going zero to one and then from one to two, right? And the, the an old... Um, to keep the Asian theme going, a Chinese <laughs> proverb: journey of, a th- journey, of a, journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. It begins with Absolutely. just taking one step in the direction that you want to head.